Hello people from the world, this is Barry from Wave, and today's video is going to be the first of a kind, hopefully it'll be a long journey about money and growth portfolio. So I asked some of you in the Discord as well on YouTube if you'd be interested in taking a look at what my dividend growth portfolio looks like. So today we're going to not only take a look at the holdings, we're going to take a look at the P&Ls, we're going to take a look at the dividend paid. So far, I'm going to briefly tell you a bit about the story of this portfolio, where I'm headed, and what I want to do with it here on YouTube. So obviously, this is an Excel sheet, as you can see, so all this could be made up. Uh, so it's up to you to believe me whether or not this is actually something that I do in real life. One of the reasons why I decided to show it is because we can, hopefully there'll be many of you interested in uh, taking a look at different growth portfolios under a different lens, that being the other way theory. Now, I not only utilize the other way theory when I looked at my individual holdings, such as, as you can see here, Spotify, Kellogg, ExxonMobil, Coca-Cola, and so on and so forth. I also take a look at the financial. In doing so, not only I check myself what the financial statement look like, but I also follow some big creators on YouTube here that talk about different investing as well as investing in general and do a pretty good job, in my opinion, when it comes to analyzing stocks. Now, speaking for myself, I am a mathematician. I do have some knowledge about evaluating companies. I did take some courses, uh, optional courses at, at uni about corporate finance. So I do have some knowledge myself. And when I look at our YouTubers doing analysis, I know what they're talking about. So that also adds a plus in terms of my skills. So what we're going to do here today is we're going to take a look at the holdings, take a look at the total portfolio value, which you probably already saw by looking at the thumbnail. As you can see here, we are at $20,600. Once again, this is an Excel sheet. I could be lying. It's up to you to believe me whether or not this is true. However, we're going to, from now on, start to take a look at it together. I'm going to show you all my wave counts. So we're, if you're new to the other way theory, you're going to see a new methodology to analyze stocks. And as you can see, it is proven to be winning over the long term. Now, this could go to zero. This could be a common negative number. As you can see, this is the total profit since inception. And uh, this is a total profit considering uh, dividends. Now, unlike many what well, some other people do on YouTube, I keep track of net dividend payouts. Now, I do have, as you can see here, my spreadsheet about dividend paid, and I keep track of them over the years. So this is going to be the dividend paid for 2024 and you can see here it says dividend paid after us tax why does it say that well i am in europe so the way my country is associated to the us they do have a tax treaty and i'm get i am taxed twice on dividends 15 percent when it comes to the us and then 26 percent which is capital gain tax in my country of residence as well as you can see here i do have dividend taken from multiple years of this portfolio this portfolio uh, was born in 2022 and uh, I the first stock that I picked is PayPal and uh, I kind of regret buying it uh, but uh, we're going to take a look at it here on the channel in the future at least you know, with theory and see also the fundamentals what it's looked like so here I keep track recently just this has been just a couple of months of daily performance why do I do that if I want to keep track of you know, if this is long term, well, it, it gives me an overview of what is the portfolio volatility as well as the portfolio expected return. Uh, I'm a big fan of uh, Markovitz, so more portfolio theory, as it is part of my, as it was in my bachelor's degree thesis. I basically talked about a more portfolio theory on steroids, so I purely took a look at it from a mathematical point of view. And I just, you know, I don't want to go into it, but it's it's basically money portfolio theory on steroids. Now here we have, as every YouTuber usually does, as well as every dividend growth investors, projection on uh, what it, it will look like in the future of the portfolio based on current data. And here I always keep track of all the transaction. As you can see here is the exchange uh, at the date of purchase or sale of a given stock between the US dollars and euros as once again, I'm in the EU. So my main currency is euro, even though I do not have a big problem having a portfolio in the US dollars as um, the job of every central bank would need to keep the exchange stable. That's after all what they always look for um, in terms of, uh, you know, keeping it stable as well as uh, keeping inflation under target. But that's not the point of this video. Point of this video is these are my holdings. They're going to come video talking about these 
alongside their wave counts, what I'm seeing, the financials. So we're going to dig into other people, Conan, which I, I respect and I value truly. And hopefully this will help you guys. Obviously, none of this is, was, or will be financial advice in any shape or form. It's just me documenting my journey here on YouTube. Hopefully you can get something from it. Hopefully you will see some mistakes and perhaps correct me along the way. And uh, the more of you guys watch, subscribe, I like this type of content, the more content I can make and the more informational and hopefully educational it can be so we can grow together. That is going to be for me today. A new journey for Bear Wave starts and hopefully you'll be part of it. Thanks and I'll see you in the next one.